I get a lot of people asking me, what's your favorite bone graft material or what technique do you use? And I kind of say, well, it kind of depends on the case and lots of different variables. So on the course, do you give the delegates a little bit of insight into clinical decision making when it comes to grafting? I think that's a very important part of the course. Why? Because it's like you have to choose the right implant for the right indication. For example, you have an area where you only have eight millimeters of bone. Obviously, you're going to choose the implant for that area. You have an area where you need to put an implant in an angle, you might choose to get an implant with an angulated platform like the southern implant coaxis or you need to use a multi-unit abutment or you need a pterygoid implant with specific design characteristics or zygomatic implant. Same with bone grafts. So it depends on why you need the bone graft. What is the plan once you put the bone graft and it heals? What is the plan? Do you want to place an implant in there or just want to improve the shape of the bone in the area? Is it a case where you've got enough to put the implant in and just improve the thickness of the area for longevity? It also depends on what kind of techniques you know, what you've been used to using, and most of the time I say, yes, use the techniques that you know best, but make some minor adjustments based on the biomaterial characteristics, what you expect that biomaterial to deliver, and if you do know how to handle the biomaterial. And you have to take into account how the body will react to the specific biomaterial you're going to be choosing. As we know, different biomaterials lead to different results based on how you handle them but also how the body will react to them and it's basic why because if we're going to be using autogenous bone we know that it's the best thing to use but autogenous bone if not used properly will not deliver the results at the same time most of the cases we do are quite straightforward and simple and I don't see how I can justify in each and every case to go and take a piece of bone from the jaw and move it to a different part with screws and everything I cannot justify that since there's so many other things you can do and have the same or comparable results in a simpler way.